Hey everyone, it's Richard here with an update to curriculum mapping with Google Workspace. Recently, Looker Studio added a brand new visualization, and whenever that happens, there's also a possibility that that visualization could be useful in a curriculum mapping setting. In this case, they added a timelines visualization. So if we look under Insert and we scroll down through the visualizations, uh, we now see an option for a timeline. Now I'm going to share with you one possible configuration that you could use with your existing data source in your curriculum mapping dashboard. So over here I've added a table and I've connected it to my existing blended data source and I've labeled the rows Right, so that is these items right here with the names of my courses and grade levels, and I join them together in, to be one field. Because um, in my my instance, the grade level was not connected to uh, the name of the course. So this helps it make it a little bit more clear which specific English class um, is am I looking at there, or which specific history class, so on and so forth. Then for the bar labels, uh, which are these bars, and let me just get rid of this filter. Um, I've simply listed the, uh, let me go back to the setup here. I've listed the title, so I pulled that over here, and that is the title of the unit. And then the start time and end time, that's quite intuitive. Um, I just pulled that from the existing start end time fields in the data. And then the tooltips, which are, uh, it's the information that pops up on the screen when you hover over one of the bars on the timeline. And we'll take a look at that here. But I decided that would be useful to have any of the standards for that given unit kind of visible when we hover over that element of the timeline. Now you may be thinking, well, is there a way to add a hyperlink directly back to the actual unit planner. And from my short you know, explanation of this or short tour of this, I haven't yet seen a way of inserting hyperlinks here. Um, but when we go to look at this, all of our normal drop-down filters can still continue to filter this data. So if we wanted to look at a specific course, we could select just that course and it'll give us a It'll bring back a timeline with all the units in that course. And if there's any standards, they would also appear on here. So I'll just hover over, hover over a few of these bars to reveal the tooltips. Sometimes they appear way at the bottom. There we are. So you can see this one has the standards um, visible right there from the tooltip. So some food for thought and something to play with with your existing data in your Google Sheets. Thanks for watching. Bye.